This is a viral infection that generally originates in parts of Africa that when it infects humans can cause really severe disease and often leading to death. In 2014, the largest Ebola outbreak ever recorded occurred, and this was largely in West Africa. Uh, thankfully, due to a large international effort, that outbreak was able to be stopped. Now, in certain parts of Africa, specifically in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Ebola is an endemic disease, meaning that there are sporadic cases that occur every year. The most common way that it is transmitted from person to person is through body secretions. The virus is really pretty aggressive. It will enter the body, and the body has a very vigorous response to it, but the virus itself is, is very aggressive, and it leads to people feeling very sick, so high fevers, often with diarrhea. And then within a few days, uh, that becomes very severe, where they, uh, their blood pressure becomes very low. Sometimes they will have bleeding, um, and within a short period of time, their organs will likely shut down. If you are traveling to any, really any place outside the United States, you should seek advice on, well, what can I do to prevent infection? And the people who are often at highest risk of a travel-related illness are those who think they're at lowest risk. So these are people who are born in that country or raised in that country, are now living in the United States and are going back to visit friends um, and uh, relatives. Um, and they are actually at highest risk because they're going to go back to doing the kinds of things that they did when they lived there. But in that meantime, even though uh, they may be from that country, their gut and their immunity is now American. The experimental Ebola vaccine that is now being used in the current outbreak uh, happening in the Democratic Republic of the Congo uh, has been being developed over the last several years. And it seems to have really good promise in stopping these outbreaks, really. If you do ring vaccination of people who have been exposed to somebody with Ebola, it seems to uh, help prevent the disease.